We are the Gator Boys. Yeah, we got a call uh, about an alligator in a miniature golf course. Scott and Ashley went on the catch with me, and I was kind of shocked, you know, where we're at. You know, this is one hazard you don't want to have on a miniature golf course. You might end up losing more than just your ball. Hey, are you guys here for the Gator? Yeah, I'm Jimmy. Nice, nice to meet you, Jay. Ashley, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Ashley. Scott. Nice to meet you, Scott. He's in the waterfall. He's been here since this morning. We haven't been able to open for business at all. And he's in here right now? Yeah, he looks pretty big. Do you want to show us where yeah. he's at? I can show you where it is. At that point, we had to evacuate anybody who was on the grounds at any anywhere. And then we had to call at the FWC immediately. And we were pretty much shut down. He's right there. He's in here? Right in there. OK. Yeah, just hang out here right. and look right there. See his eyes? All right, guys, we'll just uh, be careful. There are no mulligans when catching an alligator. Check them out. If a golf ball went into the water, someone might actually decide to go in and grab their ball. And when they do this, they step right on top of this alligator, and he's definitely going to bite someone. All right, I got your back, though. Just be careful. Ooh, he's not going to let you get across there. Spin him, Scott. Spin him. Ooh, that water's turning black. At first, the water was pretty clear, but it had a bluish tint to it. Oh, Mark Jimmy. As soon as Scott spun him the first two times, the water became milky black. It was real disgusting and nasty. Be careful. This alligator is five and a half to six feet long, and that's pretty much the most dangerous size you can work with. They're so flexible and so quick at that size. If somebody was golfing and, and walked by, maybe a little kid or something, oh, look, a little alligator. I'm going to touch him. She was feisty. She was jumping and spinning. This was a very dangerous situation to be in. He was right in between two big boulders, which is not good. We just needed to move him out from those rocks, get him into a clearer spot. All right, Ashley, get ready to tail him. You're right there. You're perfect. So I ended up just pulling him out onto the green, which is safer for the alligator as well. Stay on me. You guys ready? Go ahead. Just take your time. Watch him. I'll frontal him, and then you jump him, okay? Go, go, go. Good? Yep. There you go. Perfect. You got tape? Scott, you got that towel? Yeah. So once we jumped him and got him taped up, uh, you know, we covered his head up, make sure he's comfortable. Awesome. Thanks so much, You're guys. You're welcome. I appreciate You're everything. Welcome. You know that canal's right over there. He's so small, he could have just slipped right under the chain link, trying to get away from a bigger gator even. That I makes mean, sense. You know, on his tail, these might actually be marks from the chain link going wow. up under. Everything went great. No worries, no nothing, so. Good? Yep. This is what I'm talking about. I got the privilege of carrying the alligator all the way back to the truck. Good. Hey, wait for me, guys. Jimmy would have looked like a wuss carrying that alligator. <laughs> <laughs> With us getting here as quick as we did and got this alligator out, no one got injured, so that's the main thing.